Hey guys, I'm here with Josie the dog. I'm on a running break or a jogging break through this forest here. Like paradise, really, this. Really counting my blessings on this uh, lockdown Wednesday, week four of the UK lockdown on this uh, uh, virus quarantine that we're, uh, we're all going through. And yeah, really grateful to have access to this little woods here. It's so beautiful bright blue skies, lovely weather, and it's right near my house where I'm staying with the, uh, with the parents. And uh, it also got me thinking about how some of, some, some of you might be struggling, some of you might be having uh, issues and, and maybe don't have the same privileges as I do in getting, ha getting access to the outdoors and nature. Perhaps you're uh, unable to leave your apartment or your house or soon to be. I feel for you, if you're struggling, if you're suffering, if you're feeling low, if you're depressed, just sending my support and, and um, telling you that you know, I've been there, I've suffered from a feeling of uh, no escape, despair, um, or even just sort of niggling thoughts, you know, just, just pernicious uh, cycling, ruminating thinking that just makes you feel terrible. So I want to talk a little bit about how we can deal with a low mood or a depressed state of being, uh, especially if you haven't got access to the privileges and the freedoms that we used to. You know, we don't have the access to see our friends in person so much. We don't have the ability to go out and um, travel and be free and have that sense of responsibility. Right now I'm, I'm staying at home with family and I've got this, it's great, it's okay. It's lovely being home, but I've also completely without that sense of responsibility and that sense of freedom and that sense of I, I can do this myself that I used to have because everything's kind of provided for and there's, it's very easy to fall into complacency and comfort and get really relaxed and, um, you know, slovenly and, and lazy. But if we're feeling depressed, if you're feeling depressed, if, if you're feeling low, um, the best thing to do really is, is to get into your body. That's the, first, that's the first thing that needs to be ticked off that list of things to do when you're feeling depressed. Do what you can to exercise. Do what you can to switch the pendulum away from what's wrong with me, I don't like my situation, this sucks, I'm thinking, 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 to sweating it out, getting into body, getting into flow, feeling the sensations of your body, and getting into movement, getting the heart pumping as, as best as you can. This is not the first time you've heard about this, no doubt, but it's a simple reminder. And if you have access to any kind of exercise, even body weight exercises at, at home, in your, you know, your little room, then do that. That's, that's for me the, 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 the best, the first port of call to get on top of when you're feeling low is just, just get moving. And what that does is it gets you out of your thinking and into body and it gets you uh, it gets your body feeling better as well, you know, endorphins and all that sort of stuff. It makes you feel better. So get into exercise. The next thing is to realize that the reason you feel bad, the reason you feel depressed, is completely and utterly and totally because of the way you think. Being more healthy, doing exercise, contributes to well-being, but it is all done through the filter of thought. If your thoughts are off, if your thinking is negative, if your thinking is ugly and unhelpful, no matter how much you go running, no matter how much cardio you do, no matter how much good eating you do, you're going to have, to a certain degree, depending on how thick those thoughts are and how clinging you are to the thinking, you will have a negative emotional response. You'll have what feels like discomfort as a result of that clinging on to bad thinking. So running and exercise absolutely do help. But if your thinking is still cyclically negative, and if you're allowing yourself to cling to painful, unhelpful thoughts, you're gonna feel low. And so that's the next port of call, is to get into your body as well as you can. Get a sense of how you feel. If you feel bad, if you feel a pit in your stomach, if you feel that perhaps familiar sense of what it's like to be depressed or feel low or just grumpy or just in a bad mood, Explore those feelings for a moment and really get a sense of how they look and how they feel physically. 
And what that's showing you is a reflection of your thinking in the moment. So how you feel right now is exactly how your state of mind is. The thoughts that are running through your mind cause your feelings to be the way they are. And so if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, it's very uplifting, very, very heartening to know that all you've got to do is let go of the thinking that's causing those, those feelings, those emotions. And yes, if, the, if you're chronically depressed, that's a slightly different issue, but ultimately it all roots to the same thing. Chronic depression for me is when you get into your thinking to, the, to such an extent, you kind of believe in such negative thoughts over and over again, it's in such a cyclical way that it becomes physical, it becomes a part of your chemistry. And that can of course be reversed by letting go of your thinking, by exercising your freedom, your power within yourself to know that thinking is what's creating your emotional experience rather than what's happening outside. The coronavirus is not creating your depression. Being locked inside is not creating your depression. Your interpretation of what's happening outside is. So simply understanding that will make a huge difference. Uh, so what I'm saying here is you don't really need to do anything. There's nothing you, you are expected to do to take action on in order to feel better. It's actually more about letting go of those worries, that need, that, that need we have inside, that need we feel we need to, you know, that, that sort of sense of, I have to worry about this in order to fix this problem. I have to worry, I have to ruminate in order to get on top of this and find a solution. No, because all that does is it makes you feel worse. Clinging and, and biting into the thinking makes you feel worse. So just simply understanding the dynamic at play in that all the healing you need is emanating from within you. And the more you set aside space in your mind, the more healing is going to come through. The more of that sense of innate peace will come through. And so that's it. It's, it's about letting go to, to feeling the need to worry and feeling that you need to ruminate on things in order to find a solution. You are okay as you are right now. And you don't need to do anything. You don't need to fix yourself. You don't need to do anything apart from maybe doing a bit of exercise, as I said, and obviously eating better, because treating your body right is going to contribute to how your thinking creates your reality. Something to contemplate on a bit. But I can tell you this has helped me tremendously over the last few years, is, is, is simply the understanding that my entire emotional experience comes through the lens of my thinking. And if my thinking is ugly, if my thinking is muddying my experience, and if my thinking is believed in, if I'm taking my thoughts seriously, you know, and if a thought arises and it's like, ah, oh, doom and gloom, the economy's plummeting and um, people are all locked away and everyone's miserable, then I'm gonna feel bad because of that thought. But that thought can still arise, but I can let it go and I can say, I don't need to take that seriously. I don't need to listen to it. I don't need to, become depressed as a result of that thought. And, and simply knowing that is gonna make all the difference in how you manage yourself through these times that we find ourselves in. And remember, these are not challenging times. These are not difficult circumstances. You make them difficult. You make them challenging through how you think. And if you apply a subjective layer of this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad to everything around you, you are going to suffer and you're gonna feel that depression uh, encroach. So just realize you have that power, you have the power. The missing link is the thinking. And if you can see the power thinking can have on your emotional experience, your depression, your anxiety, then, you'll, then you know how easy it is to let go of it. Your pain has a source, there is a source of your suffering and that source is your believing in your thinking. Something to think about, <laughs> ironically, and um, I hope that helps. Please let me know if this, is, uh, if this is creating ease in you, if this is g g giving you hope for those of you who are struggling and can't see a way out and, they, and you think that everything that's happening around us is a is something that is creating pain in you and you have no say or no power in it, then hopefully this has helped. So let me know if it has. And uh, that's 10 minutes. I can't believe I've spoken for this long, but I hope, 
I hope what I'm saying is, is helpful because it certainly helped me. So much love, guys. I'm thinking about you all. If you're depressed, if you're low, remember you're only one thought away from returning to ease and peace. Send me a message, send me a DM if you want a little bit more um, support, if you want to sort of get a little bit deeper, deeper into these subjects, I'm here. I'm uh, willing to help, willing to talk. Uh, do subscribe if this made sense to you because I'll be sharing a lot more like this. Do like this video if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you indeed think that there are people out there who could benefit from this. And I will see you in the next video.